so in this what we are going to see is uh, already in the previous video we have seen the subroutine where how the call and return statement executes those call what we have we have seen in those videos are call unconditional and return unconditionally okay when there is a call immediately it goes when there is a return immediately condition returns the main program program control returns the main program but we can make conditional call and conditional return so what do you mean by conditional call if a particular condition is satisfied then only it will switch over to that subroutine when there is a particular condition is satisfied within the subroutine then only the return takes place to the main program so like that you can frame so for that exclusive uh, conditional call and conditional return statements or function instructions are available in our 8085 we'll see one by one so how a conditional call and return instructions are based they are based on mainly four flag bits they are carry zero sign and parity bits in case of conditional call the program is transferred to the subroutine if the condition is met only or else it will be skipped and the next instruction will be executed in the main program in case of a conditional return instruction the sequence return to the main program if the condition is met so you can uh, say for example in while returning you may return to a particular uh, locations in the main program if the condition is not met some other condition is met again you can return but to a some other memory location it it happens while we are writing the programs so like if class so we can do that here also so what are all the condition called cc it is called the subroutine if the carry flag is set so depending upon the carry flag if it is equal to 1 then uh, only the subroutine will be called and so on so cnc is uh, carry bit not set so if it is reset So which means C if C Y is equal to zero, conditional flag is equal to zero, carry flag is equal to zero. Same way C Z is for zero bit, C N Z is not set, zero bit not set, and then C M is for minus. That is if sign bit is equal to one, it is a negative number. If the result of the particular operation is negative, then you may want to go to subroutine. If it is not negative, you may not want to go to subroutine. So all these things you can implement by this instruction. C P is Call subroutine if sign flag is reset. That is S equal to zero, which means nothing but it is a positive number. Then CPE, which is nothing but parity even and parity odd. So you can use all those things uh, when you want to do some condition call based on the flag bits. Then respective return statements also are there. Here return if carry flag is set, return if the carry flag is reset, and so on. return if zero flag is set return if zero flag is reset or um, return if sign flag is set return if sign flag is reset then rt is return if parity flag is set and return if parity flag is reset which is if it is an odd parity so some other instructions are uh, restart instruction which is mainly related with the interrupts and while seeing interrupt we will be seeing all these things in detail but anyway uh, as these are all also uh, uh, switching of uh, instructions from one memory locations to another memory locations like subroutines i, I am just giving an introduction here in addition to the unconditional call and return instructions the 8085 instruction set includes eight restart instructions and eight conditional call and a return instruction this eight conditional call return instructions already we have seen in the previous uh, slides now we'll see rst instruction which is nothing but restart so this is a one byte call instructions similar to our uh, return instruction this is also occupying three machine cycles and 12 t states transfer the program execution to a special specific location on page 00 and uh, in page 00 if this uh, particular uh, restart takes place what are all the things that has to be done that will be explained in that page so execute the same way as call instructions used in conjunction with interrupt all these things are related with the interrupt uh, operations and we will be seeing this again while uh, seeing the interrupt okay now we'll see an example program here write a program that will display ff and 1111 that is first it will be ff in the next uh, after some delay it will be 11 so we want uh, in the seven segment display to be displayed ff or 11 so write a delay subroutine and call it as a 
call it as nursery this we are going to write it in a subroutine so we'll see how to do that now I just uh, see this is a program which I have shown you in that slide. So initially the stack pointer is initialized. Let us say this is a stack pointer and this is initialized to FF, FF. Okay. Then move immediate A, FF. So after execution of this statement, your accumulator will consist of F and F. Now, this value, whatever is in the accumulator, because always we know if you place a data in the accumulator only, you can send it to the output port. So we move this to accumulator and then we execute an output. So whatever is given in the accumulator, that will be displayed. So let us imagine this is the display, eight, uh, that is seven segment LED display. So in that case, this will be displayed in this. Okay, imagine this as a display. The so FF will be displayed after this statement. Then call two zero one four. Call two zero one four is this is the memory location. Uh, now this is a subroutine. So here it is given. Now what happened? We'll see in the subroutine. MBIB. So when a call two zero fourteen takes place, what is the next memory location after this two zero zero eight? So that will be pushed in the memory stack. So how it will be pushed? Higher order bit first. So here, let us say this is your uh, FF. Okay, starting memory location. Now a stack pointer is pointing that. When called uh, takes place, the stack pointer is incremented and it will be kept here. And what is this value? 20 first higher order bit will be placed. Yes, this will be pushed into the stack. Then uh, 0a. 0a. And stack pointer is pointing now. That is, uh, it is decremented and now stack pointer is pointing here. Then What happens? Uh, MBAA, let's say here, sorry, uh, 2014. This will be replaced in the program counter. So, program counter now will have this value 2014. So, already when it is executing, uh, this 2014 will be placed and then now it becomes 201516 uh, and so on. Okay, program counter keep sequence. Now, MBABFF. This is the, for B register, we move the value FF. And then C register, we move another FF value. So what happens? Now here we execute a decrement C. So this value is decremented. And here we check jump on no zero. Uh, so when you keep on, see FF, FF become FE, FD and so on till it becomes zero, this decrement will take space. So how it will take space? By using this jump on no zero. So jump on no zero, again you go here. So it keeps decrementing. This is the delay counter. Okay. So after when it becomes zero zero, now the next statement will be executed, which is nothing but decrement B. Now outer loop is decremented. So when it is not zero, again move to two zero one zero. It is a big delay. So again FF. C has FF and again till it becomes zero, uh, the outer loop is when it becomes zero, the outer loop gets secured. So how many times this loop alone, this delay loop? FF into FF times. This will be executed. Then finally, when it also becomes zero, B also becomes zero, we have a return statement where it will pop the topmost value because tag point is pointing here. The topmost value is 0A and only. This will be popped and placed in the program counter. 0A is placed in the program counter, 20 is placed in the this. Now, this will be replaced with this value, which is nothing but the next statement. Now, after execution, the program counter is pointing here. When it is getting executed, the program counter is incremented to this value. So now this will be executed. What is it? 11. So now uh, this is no, we, this is uh, this is gone. And now here we have 1, 1. Now 1 and 1 will be displayed. Now again, 
uh, because now we are moving that value to accumulator and output. Now this will be displayed. Call 2014. Again, we are calling this. Now this will be executed and this will remind that this, this particular time. Then after that, again, what happened? Jump to 2003, which is nothing but here. Again, it is replaced with FF and so on. 